Hi guys, so this is our next project. We have two air units here and I wanna enclose these units just because our giant schnauzer likes to run and play behind here. As you can see, there are wires coming from the unit to the house and I just want to protect that area so I'm going to build some units some enclosures in order to protect that area okay my materials is going to consist of four two by twos we got two two inch PVC piping we got four six by one boards and by eight feet and we have six six by one boards by six feet um, my enclosure from the front is going to be eight by three from the two sides six by three so let's get started okay our height is 30 it's three feet 36 inches we added another six inches that will be buried in the ground and then jr has took the time out measured that 42 inches on the post he's carried the line all the way through on the remain remaining posts we'll take the saw cut these down and then we'll just have to put everything together okay we got the first board in and we're gonna line up come on little helper gonna line up the second board on top pre-drill the second board in we have a space so that we'll have a gap in between the boards let's go that's good don't get my toe go second hole at the top Okay, we have the first six by three enclosure side finished. Um, I, I did miscalculate, and so um, that side is going to take five boards. Five times six inches is 30, and then we have an inch space in between, so we're at one, two, three, four, 34 inches. This bottom hat piece right here. Of the post we're going to create an insert into the ground using this PVC so I'm gonna cut a 15 inch um, piece of PVC we're gonna do a 45 degree angle so that we can install it um, a little bit better in the ground 
and then we'll just stick the post in. Stay tuned. Okay, so we cut down the PVC flat on one end and a 45 degree angle on the other end. This piece slides right over the post and this piece we're gonna bury most of it in the ground and then the post will go inside it. Um, so one side completed and two more sides to go. Okay guys, so I have the sides all completed. Here's the front side here. And I make sure I put them in and level them, but at least on the two sides, I still have to do the front side. But I want to show you that this PVC pipe, you cut it down, cut one end at a 45 degree angle, and then you just pound it with a mallet into the ground. Um, now, we live actually on a hill, and so um, originally these PVCs were going to be 15 inches. I just end up, because it's so difficult to dig on this rocky hill, I just cut it down to about 10 inches with a 45 degree end at one end, and... Um, pounded it down and just to make sure it stays in place if you have a flat area you can pound it in and then it'll stay um, but since we're on a hill I did put some quick creep um, around the hole and um, just toss some in there put some water on top and so once that hardened up um, it should be solid and I can just insert the post, the end post right into those areas. So this side is in, it is leveled. Um, I have it propped up a little bit until the cement dry. And then we should be able to pull this up as we need to to get access to the units. two sides, six by three sides up. We're waiting on that to set. And then we'll have a full barrier soon. Here's this one big side in the front. I haven't figured out, I am over all of this digging. So I haven't figured out if I wanna just take some brackets and bracket these to the existing secure um, size or do I want to go ahead and dig um, some more but what I'm going to do is let these set overnight and then I'll ponder that question for another day and finish up so I went ahead and screwed the front and the, this side together. I cut off one of those legs. It's just too difficult right here to function on a heel. Um, but, so this whole wing here will be removable. And then on this side, this side panel will be removable. So, just have to finish leveling up. And I'm gonna feel the whole concrete, the PVCs down, and this project will be done.